a melody in your heart. Shine Your Shoes was created from a real-life experience Vincent Minnelli had with his daughter Liza. Liza at the time wanted to be a magician, and Vincent took her to a magic shop. When they came out, they saw a shoe shiner named Leroy, who was dancing and singing while shining people's shoes. They were very impressed, and Vincent went over to get his name. And a few weeks later, Leroy got a call to be in the movie. After the movie was released, Leroy went back to shining shoes, and he hung up stills from the movie of he and Esther dancing together, and was able to do quite well for himself after that. They wanted a big flashy display to pop out of this last machine, but the first time they saw it pop out of the box, it wasn't flashy enough. So they sent it back to the prop department to be improved. This cycle went on 18 times before the machine was souped up enough to match their expectations. To change my Jack Buchanan, who is British, was excited to be in this film because it also meant he had better access to dental care. He frequently was getting dental work done while he was filming, which meant the shooting schedule was often rearranged while his face was swollen and numbed with Novocaine. Filmmakers go through great lengths to make sure that the audience doesn't hear or see anything that would break their immersion from the movie. As we all know, sometimes things slip through the cracks and make it into the final cut of the film. For this number, a mistake that slipped through was when a stagehand walked through the back of the set in this shot. Well, if you is really ready, and you're going steady, get Did you spot him? If you did, let me know down in the comments. Three little unexpected children simultaneously the doctor brought. To make the three actors look like babies in triplet, they strapped their heels to their thighs, had a plaster mold of their legs attached to a leather case where their legs would sit inside. The shoes were held on by a steel frame that was placed inside and poked out the bottom. The shot of them getting out of the chairs took nearly a whole day to get in the can because at least one of them would fall over during each take. As you can imagine, their knees were in a lot of pain after many takes. And to be able to keep working, they got shots of Novocaine in their knees to help them get through it. Michael Jackson was a big fan of Fred Astaire, and if you know his work well enough, you may have already noticed that he has a lot of references from the Girl Hunt Ballet and Smooth Criminal. If there's a movie you'd like to learn about next, please leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to learn more fun facts about your favorite films.